Hello and welcome to another Magic the Gathering unboxing. Today we're going to be just taking a look at the Magic Origins Deck Builders Toolkit. Uh, this is this comes out every year around about the time of the core set. And I think the very first one we ever released came out at a, a strange time of year, but generally they tie these in with the core sets now. So it'd be interesting to see what they do from this point onwards in terms of how they go about releasing a similar product. So inside of this box, I, I'm pretty sure, but we'll see, uh, but I'm pretty sure that the contents hasn't really changed since the previous one. Uh, 125 semi-randomised cards, four 15 card booster packs from recent Magic the Gathering sets, 100 basic land cards, a deck builder's guide to building the best Magic decks, a Magic Rules reference, card and full art reusable card storage box. Let's open this up. It'd be interesting to see their choice of uh, boosters. Um, one of the problems with previous um, previous year's toolkits is often they'll include boosters which are um, you know due to drop out of standard as of rotation in October. So we'll see. Have a look. So we've got one pack of Magic Origins, one pack of Fate Reforged, one pack of Dragons of Tarkir and okay one pack of Journey into Nyx. So I don't know why they didn't include a Cons of Tarkir there. Uh, who knows what the rationale behind that is. So these are all neatly divided up into little packs. And uh, well, this is the actual. I uh, saw that. So basically, this is the deck box here. And uh, just seal that up. Can you see the artwork on there. Pretty much the same as what's on the, the outside. Echoes what's on the outside. We have this which is now appearing in uh, various things in fat packs and product like this which has taken the place of the, the how to play guide so they've gone down for this sli slimmed down rules reference card. I'm going to have a look at the actual deck builders toolkit box because this will tell us what archetypes might be available and I'll explain how that works out in, uh, in the set. So these are the archetypes that we potentially could draw from our pool. Now what they do, and I, I'm assuming it's not changed, is there are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, yeah, 11. And you basically get 4 out of the 11 in your toolkit. So this time round they've gone for Warriors, uh, blue red spellcraft, white green aggression, red green beatdown, blue black exploit, red burn, black green toughness, blue red artifacts, secret plants. So yeah, morph men of manifest and mega morph, white black auras and prowess. So very much echoing the previous block. On previous packs what I've found as well is in, in the four you get they seem to run on from one another. So for instance if you've got blue black exploit you've also got red burn, black green toughness, blue red artifacts. So we'll see if they've done the same thing in this set and whichever one we get they should be you know a block of four from the from the eleven. But we'll see. So how it works out is that you have here, this is, this is part of your land, okay, so we'll, we'll crack this open first of all, and then this is good because then you can see, you know, what you're getting if you went out and bought this. So let's just look at our, our land, looks like we've got 
a land from Origins. So if you've got a fat pack, you're already going to be familiar with this land. I'm just going to quickly show you some of the artwork here. So you can just see. This will be the, the same artwork uh, which would be in in the land in a fat pack because it's the same set here, Magic Origins. And you can see cycling through our land, so that's gone through one complete cycle. Just make sure we've seen all four of the pieces of artwork. There you go. Now another one of these packs contains part of the artwork. Oh, sorry, another one of these packs contains part of the land, the rest of the land. To make it up to 100. Let's just open this up. Okay, so what we have here, in amongst the toolkit, they have a, a part of the toolkit which doesn't change at all. And this is what these packs are. This is, um, I suppose they would call them staples. So these are sort of across the board staples, which represent uh, certain staples in each colour. And I suspect, yeah, here's the rest of the land. So let's just go through these this, these sort of two staples packs first. So like I said, there's the rest of our basic lands. <clears throat> so these should be organised by colour. And also what you'll find is that within this tool kit are cards that you can't crack in boosters. And they'll, those cards will be in each colour. Um, and they started doing this, I think, as of last year's toolkit. And it, it was also a way in which they could include in the toolkit um, rares within this particular semi-random part here. Because up to this point, up to last year, they'd all been um, commons and uncommons. And the only way you got the rares was was basically, and the mythics was in in the a booster packs that I'm going to crack in a moment. So we've got Aegis Angel. Oh, that's right, yeah. So it goes through all the, the rares, first of all. Mahometi Jin, Nightmare, Shivan Dragon, and Terra Stomper. So there's one of each of the colours there. Then we've got Sarah Angel, so these are uncommons. Silk Wrap. Divine Verdict. So these are sort of white staples, for want of a better word. Eyes of the Watch, Alabaster Kirkin, Celestial Flare, Erase, Feet of Resistance, Avon Skirmisher, Artful Maneuver, and Pacifism. And moving on to blue, we've got Frostwalker. Into the Void, Weave Fate, Disdain, Disdainful Stroke, Claustrophobia, Singing Bell Strike, Fairy, and Mis Fairy Miscreant, Avon Surveyor, Anticipate, and Elusive Spell Fist, and a Negate. Singer Vampire, Ultimate Price, Mind Rot, Flesh to Dust, Reeve Soul, Dead Bridge Shaman, Debilitating Injury, Hooded Assassin, Typhoid Rats, Flatten, Hand of Sil Silumgar. Arc Lightning, Wild Slash, 
Fiery Hellhound, Act of Treason, Dragon Fodder, Prickle Boar, Trumpet Blast, Bathing Dragon Fire, Mardu Scout, Tormenting Voice, and Twin Bolt. Prize Unicorn, Hair of the Wild, Hair of the Wild, I'll start again, Hair of the Wild. Elvish Visionary, Nissa's Pilgrimage, Titanic Growth, Plummet, Dragon Scale Boon, Naturalize, Anioch Guide, Whisper of the Wilds, Colostodon Yearling. So those are our five colours, and I'm pretty sure, and I was sort of quick, quickly looking at those, I didn't see um, any cards from any block before the most the sort of current one so anything bef before Khan's block so it's either Origins, um, Dragons of Tarkia, Fate Refuse or Khan's of Tarkia. We didn't see anything from um, Theros block. So I'm hoping the only stuff in here for th from Theros block would be um, would be that booster and then that way the toolkit basically has a sort of standard life you know, the standard format of of a year okay or yeah actually slightly over a year so yeah we're, we're okay in that respect so let's look at our <coughs> remaining cards in these sort of staples um, this is interesting. I don't know whether they've done this previously. It looks like we've got non-basic lands, which is cool. Uh, Spider Silk Net is our artifact. And we've got two Bloodfell Caves, two Blossoming Sands, two Dismal Black Backwaters, two Jungle Hollows, two Rugged Highlands, two Scour Scoured Barrens, two Swiftwater Cliffs, two Thornwood Falls, two Tranquil Coves, and two Wind Scarred Cracks. So that's cool. So we've got uh, one for each, or two for each colour pair there of the um, the lands that come into uh, play tapped, but uh, you gain one life of, and they can tap, once they're untapped, for the, the two colours. That's got all the colours there, both enemy and allied. So I've left this part of the semi-random section of the uh, deck builds toolkit to last. So this is where the the archetype um, cards reside. So you remember I said there's four out of eleven. Now these are sandwiched between four evolving wilds. And that's something they've, they've already always done. They've always have, had some sort of uh, fetch land um, going on here in this pack in previous versions of the toolkit. So first evolving wild. So we've got Merciless Executioner, Solemngar Sorcerer, Youthful Scholar, so this is looking like blue black, which must be blue black exploit. Okay. Rakshar Rakshasa Gravecrawler, Macar Waltz, Deathbridge Shaman. I also had one of those in that the other part we un we just unpacked. A whisk away. Gurmag Drowner, Sadisi's Faithful, Dutiful Attendant. So our first one, like I said, is Blue Black Exploit. So our next Evolving Worlds. Ravaging Blaze. Arc Lightning, this looks suspiciously like Burn. Monastery Swift Spear. Wild Slash. Lightning Javelin. Mage Ring Bully. Valley Dasher. 
Mardu Scout, Sarkin's Rage, Twin Bolt. That's our red burn. So I suspect after this evolving was we've got black green toughness, but we'll see. Pine Walker. No, we don't. Ice Feather Avon. Secret Plans. So I wonder what this one is then. Oh, it is indeed Secret Plans. <laughs> uh, Quasi Deceiver. Claustrophobia. Right into Being. <coughs> Ambush Crotic. Ethereal Ambush. A joke. Ojatai Interceptor, Guardian Shield Bearer. So that was in fact secret plans. So obviously these do jump around. And then finally we have assuming this is white black here. <clears throat> so this is uh, actually no this would be Warriors thinking about it. Uh, Chief of the Edge which probably is also in white black. Chief of the Scale, Mardu Woe Reaper, Blood Chin Rager, Rush of Battle, Avon Skirmisher, Harsh Sustenance, Herald of Dromaka, Hand of Salamgar, Flatten, I think they've got a flatten. So that there was white, black. Warriors things, yeah. So that is also white black. So let's crack open our boosters and we'll start off with the oldest first. So we have a some journey to mix here. So, Rouse the Mob, Font of Vigor, Oak Heart Dryads, <coughs> Feast of Dreams, Hubris, Satyr Hoplite, Sigiled Starfish, Starfall, Cruel Feeding, Stonewise Fortifier, Nessian Game Warden, so moving on to our uncommons, Sightless Brawler, Riptide Chimera, Athreos, God of Passage. We have a Mythic, so it's not all bad getting a, a, an older booster in here. Uh, legendary Enchantment Creature God, 5-4 Indestructible. It costs one white black to cast. As long as your devotion to white and black is less than seven, Athreos isn't a creature. When another creature you own dies, return it to your hand, unless target opponent gain, pays three life. Island and a spider token. Okay, fate is next up. Okay, Sibsig Host. Soltai Skullkeeper, Sandblast, Jeskai Sage, Soltai Runemark, Gorswine, Frontier Mastodon, Alicia's Vanguard, Defiant Ogre, Whisperer of the Wilds, Fruit of the First Tree, Valorous Stance, Winds of Quai Sisma, and in our rare slot, We've got Dagata the Adamant, so another legendary creature. Three and a white legendary creature, human warrior. Vigilance, Dagata the Adamant enters the battlefield with four plus one plus one counters on it. One hybrid black green, black green. Move a plus one plus one counter from target creature onto a second target creature. Also complements our uh, fact we got warriors as our, one of our archetypes. There's also a Tranquil Cove in here, and a Monk Token. Oops. 
Dragons of Tarkir. Resupply. Grave Purge. Hardened Berserker. Sandstorm Charger. Pinion Feast. Mystic Meditation. Stampeding Elk Herd. Custodian of the Trove. Vulturous Avon. Fate Forgotten. Inspiring Call. Warbringer. Self Inflicted Wound. And in our rare slot. Volcanic Vision. 5 2 red. Sorcery. Return target instant or sorcery card from your graveyard to your hand. Volcanic Vision deals damage equal to that card's converted mana cost to each creature your opponents control. Exile Volcanic Vision. Forest and an advert. So, our last booster. Let's see what we can get in this one. So, this is our Magic Origins booster. Healing Hands, Dead Bridge Shaman, I think this is our third one now, Smash to Smithereens, Aspiring Aeronaut, Elfish Visionary, which we also had in our um, other section of the toolkit, Veteran Sidearm, Titan Strength, Read the Bones, Calculated Dismissal, Lanawar Empath, Brawler's Plate, Hydro Lash, Undercity Troll, let's see what our rare is. So we've got a nice Shivan Reef here. Tap add one to our mana pool, tap add blue or red to your mana pool, Shivan Reef deals one damage to you. Mountain, oh and a a token for Ashaya, the Awoken World, token legendary creature elemental. It's a pretty nice token there. Okay, so there we have the contents of our deck builders toolkit um, and our okay, we're keeping, we're keeping track there. Our four um, archetypes we had in in the uh, in that section of the toolkit was blue black exploit. Red Burn, we also had uh, Secret Plans and Warriors in there and we had um, some nice pools in our boosters I was particularly pleased about getting the two legendary creatures it was interesting stuff to play around with the um, with EDH Commander um, so there we have it the Magic Origins Deck Builders Toolkit. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.